As many of you know, I own this rather large Hummer. Many of you also know that I live in Philadelphia, which is close to New York City, often referred to as the greatest city in the world by people who haven't been to very many cities. So I figured, why not combine them? I'm Doug DeMiro, and today I'm taking you on a Hummer tour of New York City. This part sucks. This is the Holland Tunnel, named after the nation of Holland, which sometimes goes by the alias the Netherlands. Known associates include Belgium and Denmark. Its primary exports are colorful flowers. That would be the country, not the tunnel. The tunnel's primary export is people from New Jersey. Now before we get started, you should know that New York is home to a wide range of some of today's most famous celebrities, and I'm going to point them out to you. For example, there's Sarah Jessica Parker. Now this is the Wall Street Bull. They don't let cars near the bull because it likes to eat taillights. Once in 2003, it ate an entire 1994 Nissan Pathfinder. Fun bull fact, the bull is radioactive. Radioactive. This is the Statue of Liberty, which was a gift from France. It came in a giant concrete wrapper, which is now a payday loans place in New Jersey. Now the Statue of Liberty is meant to symbolize liberty and freedom. Unfortunately from here it looks like a giant oil derrick. There's Danny DeVito. what? There's all these people walking around trying to hail taxi cabs and by God we're not doing anything today and our car is the same color as a taxi cab so maybe we should pick one of them up. Here's a guy. Here's a guy right here. Let's do this guy. Let's do this guy. Yeah, where are you going? This is a cab, right? Yeah, this is a, this is a cab today. Take me to 320 West 81st Street. That's not Brooklyn, is it? I don't want to no, go to Brooklyn. No, all right, all right, get in, get in. No, 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 get in the front. Yeah, come on, let's enjoy this. Let's have some fun today. So, where are you going? 50th? No, West 81st. Yeah, 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 all right, let's do that. Is this, is this thing even have AC? Uh, yeah, but, you know, we're trying to save the environment in New York. Mayor uh, De, De Bloomberg has told us we gotta, we gotta save the environment. You know, I don't like that Uber as a taxi driver here in New York City. Yeah. Yeah, I, it's eaten. Yeah, how, how is that? It's eaten into my business, you know? This is not the same. You gotta be able to provide a, a quality experience. And do you think this isn't a quality experience? What are you missing out on? Here, I got, I got, I got water for you. Yep. You know, we saw Sarah Jessica Parker earlier. Yeah, yeah just walking around. Oh boy, this, oh crap. Well, this guy, this guy's got to move, <laughs> but he's not gonna. Oh. It's all right. We get work. We're gonna be so fine. Great. What do you? What do you cop? I love so, how long you been in New York? No, probably a year and a half. Yeah, it's a great city, isn't it? A lot of trash. A lot of trash. Yeah. A lot of trash on the curb every day. Yeah. Yeah. You know, uh, the Statue of Liberty was a gift from France. Here we are on the campus of New York University, a highly selective private university where they teach communism. I'm just kidding. The university has graduated some of the nation's top thinkers, like Danielle Steele and Topanga from Boy Meets World. Their mascot is the Lampshades. Yo, Lampshades! They play four sports, badminton, lacrosse, hopscotch, and dodging spit on the subway. Now behind me is Central Park. It's called Central Park because it's halfway between Long Island and Pennsylvania. Central Park is rimmed by some of the most expensive property in the entire world, but it's home to a wide range of destitute homeless people. Central Park also has a zoo which contains giraffes. 
Fun fact, the Central Park Zoo giraffes are too tall to fit through the Holland Tunnel, so zookeepers had to assemble them here, like IKEA furniture. Look, it's Donald Trump! This is the Empire State Building, named after its founders, Phil Empire and Reggie State, who built it in 1956 with only their bare hands and one single Phillips screwdriver. It was rebuilt twice, once in 1967 when King Kong destroyed it, and once in 1996 after the aliens destroyed it in Independence Day. Now this is Times Square. Or at least, this is as close as we're allowed to get to Times Square in an automobile. They closed Times Square to car traffic a couple of years ago because they were afraid the cars were disturbing the natural species of tourists and people who dress up in giant hot dog costumes and hand out leaflets to tourists. Now, Times Square is named after the New York Times who won't employ me. This after the excellent essay I submitted to them about assembling giraffes like IKEA furniture. Unbalanced, they call me. Well, it's time to leave New York, also known as the Windy City, which translates into English as the City of Angels. New Yorkers, thank you so much for your hospitality, which primarily involved not spitting on us. Goodbye. This part sucks.